feel like the hero is is usually most of the time it's just got a split push anyways it, it generally yeah, doesn't leave the lane that it's in yeah. until it gets to the tier three tower <laughs> and that's the problem also and this isn't even mentioning that you know secret probably have played against this hero in a couple of scrims especially if they've played against denial but i mean that's the thing we, we have yet to see how it pans out until we actually get into the game I mean, i'll reserve judgment some, but... they could have some crazy strat where they like uh, aggro trilane with Broodmother, Skyrath, and Enchantress? I, I freaking hope so, man. They need something, I feel like. That could actually be kind of strong if you think about, like, if Enchantress and Skyrath just park themselves in the enemy jungle, and they're like jungling the enemy jungle while Brood is in the, that lane, then that could actually be really good this game because Sand King's gonna want to jungle, Dazzle's right. not really a good support, you know, against an aggro trilane. Right. And. I actually would like that coming up from Denial. Let's see if they go for that. Maybe yeah, that's I mean, their plan. You can't juggle safely as a Sand King against yeah, even just a, maybe a solo Broodmother, I guess. So I would have liked to see something like an Enchantress instead of the Sand King, but I'm sure this will work out just fine. Mm -hmm. Assuming, you know, we see a standard game with a Broodmother in the offlane. And it could also just be Core Tide, Core Sand King as well. True. That's that's also Although quite I scary to think unlikely. about. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's probably not going to happen, but... We've seen crazier drafts before. I think there's going to be a Kuroki hero next. Unless they want to have the the Tide in the safe lane farming. Just because it deals with Brood so well. You actually, as a Brood, you can't do anything to a Tide. Because, especially not with the Anchor Kraken build. The Spiders, I believe, don't do physical damage. They do some sort of poison damage. So I think it might actually work partially through Kraken Shell, but... They're actually not going to do any of their physical damage portion. Is this is this a Legion counterpick just to make sure that Secret doesn't get it? Because I was going to say Secret can pick up a Legion here and just make Broodmother extraordinarily sad for Kuroki, but that doesn't seem yeah. to be the case. All right, <laughs> that's it. I'm done. Oh, we're gonna see. Oh, it's a No Tail Meepo. I was actually really hoping to see a Kuroki no Meepo, but then I realized they have No Tail on the team because yeah. Kuroki acting the one was one of the only players to ever play Meepo in competitive Dota 1. And he was a god at the hero. Like, he was amazing at the hero. It is going to be no tail instead. And it's still exciting regardless. Yep. But, yes. you know, someday maybe we'll see that Kuroki Meepo, but not today, Probably it looks not. like. I think it's going to be a Kuroki Tide. Just because, and, like uh, I said, the Brood can't do anything against that hero. And actually, we're going to have Mad on the Brood Mother, so... A bit of a role swapping coming out. Looks like Funzie's going to be on the Skywrath, unless we, for some reason, have a four-position brood, and I don't know something here. I mean, it's a Jungle possibility. Brood? Is that a thing? I, is it? I don't know. You're asking me, man. And I don't know. <laughs> I've the new it. meta is. is real. We're going to see in just a second how real this new meta is, the brave new meta coming out from, from Denial, hopefully. But until we see... Dedicated lanes coming up from Denial will have to reserve judgment. For Secret, you're looking at their roster. You've got Big Daddy no -Tail playing his favorite Meepo. Kuroki on the Sand King, interestingly enough. Puppy's going to play your Dazzle. Simba on the Tide Hunter and S4 on your Brewmaster. Looks like they will swap the rolls around. No Tail, he's going to be the one carrying this game, I believe. I don't really think uh, the core Sand King is... I mean, it's good. Uh, it could happen. It's going to be a support Sand King, I think. I'm, and... I'm pretty sure, yeah. Honestly, it's not even like they're swapping into things that they're not comfortable playing with. Kuroki, definitely a very experienced and, and he good played support, support player. for like two years for Navi. Yeah, and one of the best teams. So. Yeah, he's kind of good at the role. He's kind of good at Dota in general. Let's just say Kuroki's good at this game. Thirty seconds. Definitely one of the best players in the scene for sure. So that's Secrets roster, and uh, if you'd like to do denial, you're more than welcome. Yep. In the top lane, we're going to have Paris farming up on the Legion Commander. Looks like he's going to be supported by Creo and Funzi on the Skywrath. In the mid lane, we're going to have Jural playing the Puck. And off lane, we're going to have Bucking Mad on the Broodmother. So. so it's exactly what we thought it was going to be. Yeah. Uh, he will pick up a haste rune early on here, so it's a good choice. It's a good, good yeah, thing to have. It's actually a really nice rune for him to get. Yeah, it's gonna be impossible. I'm actually to kill a little surprised that they didn't just. Although I guess with this Meepo last pick, it sort of makes it so they can't put. You don't really want to put the Meepo in an aggressive lane because it would be kind of useless. 
So, actually, these lanes don't surprise me too much. I would have liked to see them maybe put just the solo tide or something against the brood, but I suppose with these picks, they actually have to just try lane against brood. Well, you say try lane, but again, Kroki's going to be in the jungle for a while, yeah. so... But also, the thing is, for a Meepo, you generally like to ju jump into the jungle, like, after you hit level 3, and... Mm -hmm. uh, he will have to split the jungle up between him and, and Kuroki, so there will be... I mean, you can still farm the safe lane, obviously, and, and not have a problem with that, but... You, you want to be able to use the jungle as well. Meanwhile, S4 took a lot of damage coming up from Draw. Again, Draw is quite the puck player, so... Something to keep in mind. Top lane, it is going to be Sim of the offlane. He's getting Arcane Bolted, unsurprisingly. It's, it's just going to happen I mean, when you're playing yep. up against the Skyrat, so... I feel like everyone who's been picking Puck recently is just so good at this hero. Maybe the hero is just strong at this point. I, I, think I feel that like might be the every case. hero, every player that I see take this hero mid, they do really well. Yeah, this is, uh... It's quite the hero nowadays. In fact, it's been picked like every game of the past two days in Dota Pit, I think. At least oh. from what I remember. Spawn Spartlings are gonna go for Matt. He'll send one of them to the jungle. Actually, he's just gonna keep an eye out for the most part. They're gonna throw a sentry down, and now Puppy's gonna go to work on taking these bad boys down, so... Matt's like, please, no, my spiderling, my children. Matt is going to get chased away. Uh, no tail is one point in poof, one point in his earthbind. So, I mean, he can maybe start getting aggressive on Matt mm -hmm. if he gets caught out. And he didn't bring sentries to the lane. Usually when you're a broodmother, you might bring sentries to counter the uh, the other sentries. But he's just got to sit back and try to farm with the soul ring when he gets they it up. They do have so. sentries. One right there. No, for, for Matt, I mean. For oh, Matt, the for broodmother. Matt, okay. I yeah. thought, okay, yeah, I was confused. All right, Creo gets the kill on S4. He gets caught out of position. They roam in with the Sensar Conqueror and they get the kill. Nice, good stuff. Glad I caught that. Uh, that's okay, I completely missed that as well. Uh, I funky. think he smoked and just caught S4 trying to get the rune. Yeah. So a really nice rotation from him. Maybe he didn't even smoke. Although he doesn't have any items, and I assume I think that he did. I'm you, pretty you sure. Probably, yeah, you start with the smoke usually when you jungle enchantress. So. Mm. Here comes Kuroki with double damage rune. He's going to spot out Matt. He's going to hit him once and then back away. The, the webs are up now and the Spiderlings are going to get going onto Kuroki. So the, the Spiderlings actually can harass and maybe even somehow steal some of the farm coming up from Kuroki, but somebody keep in mind. Something we never talked about was how good Meepo and Dazzle are together. If you're able to get a, let's say, the blink on Meepo and he has, you know, even at level before he gets four Meepos, a three Meepo heal proof bomb is some insane damage coming out. Uh, Draw's gonna get hit up with crit and the thunderclap as well. S4 was going to work there for a moment, but he'll back. He'll probably bottle up here in a second and regen. Meanwhile, top lane Sib is chasing down Funzy, by the way. And they're gonna go toe to toe. Anchor smash already went. One point in Kraken shell as well. Sim is manning up hardcore. Funzy's gonna get chased down. Arcane Bolt and Concussive Shadow are available. Paris is gonna come in. Now they're gonna go. Overwhelming odds as well. There's the enchant coming in, and Paris is looking for this kill. He might find it. Simba is gonna fall. It looks like the right click of Sakshika up in this top lane with his Legion Commander. So a really strong early game start from Denial. I think they need to have a strong start with these heroes because. They definitely don't have any late game. I mean, their late game consists of Legion Commander. And I think that's it. So that's kind of a problem. Yeah, none of their heroes really scale into late. I guess Puck is not, like, terrible in the late game. But it's not really a hero that's known for its late game prowess. Sure, you might be able to get, like, a Hex. There's just You just pick up a bunch of utility items. But Simba is Groot. getting chased out of this lane, and he's had a rough time. Wow, he actually is almost dead. Paris might die of this. He does have press the attack. He's going to decide not to. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they're going to go. Earthbind comes in. The poop is already used. The dust is going to go as well. Matt is low. One more right click from Notail will do the job. They get the kill on the offlane brood. Big Daddy picks up the last right click. Nice micro coming out from Big Daddy Notail on the Meepo. Able to get out the double earthbind as well as both poofs. Just heads back to the jungle and, well... He'll take some of the farm, and actually Kroki's going to come into the safe lane and get some of the farm as well, so... They are going to try trading up some of this CS just to make sure that he gets to an early blink dagger, so... I like the decision coming out. As soon as he gets a blink, and if Big Daddy has a couple of items to work with, I mean, they can kill here. As S4 is going to get Dream Coil to the mid lane, looks like he avoided a lot of the damage. They're looking for Drawl, but here comes the Courier with his bottle back in it. S4 might bottle up and look for a clap, but Drawl's going to actually just try to go. They're kind of just dancing around each other here, and... Well, yeah, and I mean, as you say, Simba is having a difficult time in this offline, but it looks like he does, he is sort of in a 1v1 matchup now, so gonna be able to pick up some nice experience and farm on himself, and 
Pied also is going to have access to Ancients at some point, so going to be able to have a nice comeback mechanic for himself. Uh, so, I mean, that Simba might have a rough time now, but, well, mid lane, meanwhile, there's the split going in. It looks like there was a gank. They're going to throw up the usage of that boulder toss. Raw is low, and there's the Cyclone. They want this kill. They're going to find it. The Immolation, more than enough damage. Creo's going to get dove as well. Will they be able to bring down two here coming out? He's going to have to use his nature's attendance, but he goes down regardless. And S4... Despite getting first blood, it takes two here in the mid lane. <laughs> That's quite the kill coming out for S4. And, I mean, there's a reason why this hero always gets banned against S4. His micro is impeccable on this hero, and just showing it off there. That was very impressive coming out from him. So he turns two. And that'll get him up towards his bottle and actually 1200 gold. He's getting close to his blink dagger. Meanwhile, they're going to chase down Matt as well. There's oh, another Earthbind guy. coming in. Another Earthbind is going to flow. Double poof coming in. The Burrow Strike and Big Matt. He gets yet another kill. This is not to mention that Kuroki also has 1500 gold in the bank. So despite everything going well in the top lane, these other lanes are starting to become an issue for Denial. Yeah, and I think the problem is that... Okay, so even if, let's say, usually Brood, sure, you might have this bad start because you're up against a tri lane, but, you know, that's no problem because at some point they're going to leave you alone. But the problem is they only have to send one hero to stop you, and they have so many different heroes they can send. They can send the Tide, they can send the Panda, they can send the Sand King, probably even the Meepo because he can just cast Poof on, you know, two Meepos and all your spiders are dead. I just think... He's just never going to have an impact in this game. Because even if he's given the space, it only takes one hero, and that's really the problem in this game. Is that when you're a brood and it only takes one hero for them to stop you, you're just not going to be effective. Again, we question why they picked it first. That was the biggest indication in my mind that this game was going to go south. And it hasn't really devolved into absolute obliteration yet for denial, but uh, there's always the opportunity for a secret. You mentioned the heroes can just gain the Broodmother so easily. The one hero that they might have an issue with is going to be the Legion Commander, who has had a great time top. The most CS in the game, 1,000 yeah. gold plus treads, going to try to get towards the uh, Blink Dagger as quickly as possible, but I mean, yeah, they, they can I mean, deal with her eventually. We also didn't really discuss the fact that Denial doesn't really have anything to deal with the Meepo, like going towards the late game, because, or even this mid game, once he gets the Axe and the Blink Dagger, are they going to be able to burst playing? S4 down before he, he gets the split off? No, oh. they get the split off. The duel went, and they didn't get the kill either. And oh, Paris might actually fall. As well. That's huge coming out. The Cyclone coming in. Simba's going to come. He does have the Ravage. He's going to pop it. Absolutely. Hits on it too. Now they're going to turn their attention to Raw. He's going to have to use his face shift. He will jaunt up. He almost got hit by that boulder. And had he, he would have gone down. Meepo also got a kill, I believe, onto Skyrath, but he did go down in the end. No, it was actually Flunzy getting the kill no, onto Meepo, so. Yeah. Alright, that was the trade off. So Meepo going down, nice pickup. Again, he's not down for that long. Only 10 seconds, but. Yeah, really good deny on, from S4 onto that Hastern. I think Legion probably would have survived because I don't think they would have been able to ravage him, so. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. His Paris did go down. He's got to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Simba here. Simba is kind of low, but uh, he can't take him down. Even with a duel, he would have to get him low before he dueled him up. So, now yeah, they're they putting finally, some aggressiveness on the bottom yeah, lane. Yeah, they finally done what I thought they might even do at the beginning of the game, which is to have the Enchantress and Skyrath sort of in this jungle position. And, I mean, the Brute as well, but they just need to have multiple heroes in the bot lane so that... They can A, protect Brood, and B, threaten to kill these heroes as they're either in the jungle or in the lane. Because Brood can't do it alone. Uh, Puppy's Puppy gonna come in. Might be in trouble, actually. That's a lot of spiders. Heal yourself. They're gonna get pooped on. One, two. They don't oh. kill them. They're so close. That would have been so much gold for no tail. You got mean, he maybe a couple got of them tons there. Of gold. Yeah. Kuroki gets a kill in the mid lane, though, on Draw. He popped up the uh, Blink into the Burrow Strike. That was all they needed. He didn't add the Epicenter yet. He's got a skill it now, I imagine, but... Good usage mm -hmm. to that Blink that it just came out at 9 minutes for Kuroki, so... He but they do lose to the uh, Hero Puppy sure. bottom lane as well. I didn't I didn't see him go down, but... Puppy died to the spiders. It was yeah, just like a huge swarm of spiders. And honestly, him dying there for that many spider kills is probably not the worst thing in the world. I, like I said... Getting that many spider kills is pro probably worth more than a kill, I think, at this point in the game. Yeah, they, there are so many of them, and if only had gotten all of them, my god, that would have been a lot of money. 
but still. Sib is gonna go top, Creo's jungling aggressively, and S4 notices he's on the high ground. Blink, Clap's gonna go and Creo's gonna pop the nature six tenets. Split, nope, there's gonna be a there coming out. Nice play, but the Blink, bro. And boom, the heal coming in from Puppy, the Shadow Wave, they get the kill. Creo, rather Gerald, is gonna jaunt away across the ravine. They might get and Simba in the top lane. They're gonna, gonna get duel caught out. Duel's gonna go. He doesn't have Ravage for another three seconds. Duel is gonna be done. Anchor Smash, he might have to pop the Ravage. He's not going to. He'll fall. They don't get the duel win. That still pairs with zero duel wins at this point in time. Bottom lane. Mad. He's looking to maybe jump out of Tail, who, by the way, has his level three. Oh, he's gonna have to poof away. No, he doesn't have it for another two seconds. He's gonna yeah, run by now. He's just gonna poof out. He'll make it, he'll make it away. So. That was a nice kill for Denial. Really unfortunate that they didn't get the dual damage, but I, the next duel plus Skyrath combo is definitely going to kill because Skyrath just got his level 6 from that kill. They're going to have the Mystic Flare available for himself and be able to... I think if they get anyone in this duel plus Skyrath combo, they should die. Midland S4. They see Paris, I believe. Hold on. No, they don't. Not yet. Now they do. S4 is going to come in. There's the duel coming out to S4. Do they have the damage? They have to drop that ult, and they will. S4 is going to get Waning Rift. He's dead. The Silence coming in. That's a big kill. He's being a bit too aggressive. Kuroki was there ready for a Blink Dagger, but he couldn't get it off, obviously. And uh, somehow, No-Tail is eclipsed up to 97 CS. Might have been from the Spiderlings. Also could be from the jungle. Could be from both. Earthbind's got to come in. He's got to poof on top of them, and they'll both share in the wealth as they get uh, all of those spiders. They're all dead. Oh, boy. Yeah. That is a lot of gold. That's a lot of gold. How close is he to his Agnims? Does he have He's any got his Ogre components? Club. He's okay. his Ogre Club, that's it. Oh, he bought Treads, okay. Mm -hmm. So he's sitting at 1200 life. Probably gonna have his Ags within the next couple of minutes. I mean, if he gets another kill on a bunch of Spiderlings like that again, he's gonna be pretty close. Oh, there's one Meepo left here. So well, Puppy might actually just go down to the nukes. They're all around. Geralt's here on the backside. I'm not sure if uh, S4 spotted him out. He's currently oh, in the trees. S4 is here as well. S4 is waiting to go. He knows that something's about to break out. Illusory Orb's gonna fly. Big Daddy might get spotted out. There's gonna be the weave coming in. Puppy's just gonna pop his Shallow Grave and hopefully survive for the next couple of minutes. Dream Cold comes in. S4 gets Ancient sealed up. He's in some trouble. He will be able to get his ult off. It looks like, no, he goes down. Funzie's getting jumped on by Big Daddy. He'll get the kill. And now Big Daddy comes in again. There's the duel. Big Daddy's in some trouble. The poof coming in. It's not enough damage. Winner, winner. But there's the epic from Kuroki. Double kill. He comes from the backside out of nowhere. The Sand King burrows in and he plays the music. And Gerald now getting jumped down. It looks like Simba has Ravage. She's maybe winning. Pop a Kuroki has his blink up. They blink forward. They know that he's there. They're going to right click him down. Another he's face shift. Gerald has no mana. There's the Ravage. It's going to go. He's donezo. McDonezo. I'm not sure why they Ravage because he has no mana. They didn't know that, I don't think. Stuck there. Yeah. Well, I mean, they should know that. They can just click on him. Yeah, true. A, a bit kind of, uh, a little bit quick oh, well, of a He wants to use the gun. Ravage, it's fine. It, Honestly, like, using, everyone says this all the time, using Ravage in the early game for kills is perfectly fine, but I just, they didn't need it, per se, to get that kill. They got it regardless, so. Yeah. And, and uh, they actually end up trading really well there, even though the Meepo, Dazzle, and... S4. Yeah, they all went down. Okay, puppy Meanwhile, Puppy's dead. Actually, just dead. Mad just pops up the insatiable hunger. They go to work. Meanwhile, jump in. It looks like they duel and they get the kill onto Big Daddy. Paris coming in now. A couple of duels going his way. Jump and clap, but a nice face shift coming out from Jural. S4 does have the double damage rune. He still has a split as well, but he should be fine. So he'll make his way out of there. And that could have been bad for for Secret, but not so much. Or rather, for Denial, excuse me. But they end up taking two kills and. Uh, a big one at that, and they're going to Dream Claw on S4 as well. He does he have split. To pop his split. No, the oh, Waiting Rift comes in, and now he's in trouble. In fact, he is dead. Paris comes in. Great kill. Good Waiting Rift. Jarrah is on point this game with the silences. Uh, goodbye, mm -hmm. Spiderlings. Kroki just got at least 10 of 15 of them, so. <sighs> yes, yeah, so Denial have actually done a good job in the last two minutes finding a lot of pickoffs and kills, but. They're going to have to continue to apply this pressure because in about 10 minutes, fighting into secret is probably going to be impossible. Matt is, and by the way, the third in the net worth chart. Uh, Earthbind's going to come in. They're going to find out one hero. They might find out two. Draw's going to get slowed up with the... Um, well, he actually going to chase blink, after him. So he might just die here. 
to roll into no trouble. Burrow strikes up in one second. Meanwhile, on the backside, they're going to go to work on another hero. It's going to be Matt falling. And they actually lose the puck as well. So that was a disastrous engagement for Denial. That was... Uh... Yeah, they're actually going to get Roshan. And when you lose fights to teams with Meeple and Brewmaster, down goes Roshan. Yeah, they actually have their eggs now for Meepo as well, so Flink Tiger's oh, gonna come shortly yeah, after and it's gonna be kind of an issue. The Legion was off to a good start and then all of a sudden they, they gave a couple of kills away. And by the way, Matt's gonna go for an Orchid, I believe. He has the double quarter staff coming up. The the first Oblivion staff is actually already done, so Yeah. This is I like the build and I like the fact that Matt has come back and done quite well for himself, but that last engagement was maybe the worst thing that could have happened. In fact, they're gonna try to take this tower as well. Um, Big Daddy does pick up the, the Aegis, he also has the Ags as well, so even if they duel him now, he'll just stay alive and go to work on all these heroes. This tower might get denied, it looks like Funzie is gonna try to right click it down, Blink coming in, Ancient Seal immediately though, and winning Rift, now the duel going into S4, and Brave comes in for Puppy at a perfect time, Paris is gonna be the one to lose the duel, there's the FBI onto Funzie, is there enough damage? Well, he's gonna get Earthbinded, so absolutely, double kill from Big Daddy, he's taking over the game. He's now sitting at a cool 7 3 and 3, and they're going to work towards this tier 2 tower as well. Great grave from Puppy there. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and, you know, I was saying 10 minutes was probably the time where they can't take team fights. It might actually just be now. It's, it's just now. That's I, it. They can't deal with the AoE coming out from Secret. They actually get a nice quill, canceling the TP of Kuroki, who is going to go to the bottom lane and deal with Rude, but. It's not gonna matter. Not not the not quite the million dollar coil, but yeah, not quite. And <laughs> how do denial team fight against this? Like if they initiate with a duel, it's just gonna get graved by a puppy. And he was very on point with that previous grave onto S4. And if they go in with the puck, it's just they're not gonna have enough AOE damage to do anything, and they're just gonna counter initiated by the blink ravage. Even possibly a blink the blink epispen. Who doesn't? The the puck the doesn't puck. have a blink yeah. yet. It's 17 minutes into the game, and Jeral, who had a great start, is sitting on only. Well, I guess he's gonna have it in about 20 seconds. But and still. the problem is, is that every team fight is gonna be four versus five, and Brood's not knocking at your base yet, so you don't really have to worry too much about. Oh uh, boy, Matt, you are in trouble. Another oh, Earthbind no, goes in. Insatiable Hunger well. is gonna go through, and the spiders are about to fall. No Tail gets so much gold from killing all of those damn spiders. He had just bought his Blink Dagger. He's back up to a thousand gold. As for there's a fight mid coming in. The split goes in. Mystic Flare as well. Creo getting brought low. He'll fall to the Panda. They're gonna cycle it up Funzie as well. This might be an entire team wipe. Triple kill for S4. Will he get the Ultra coming in? Absolutely. S4 going to work. Big Daddy coming in at the back end of that fight. And they're gonna take not only a tier two, but maybe a tier three at this point. They're so far ahead now. I don't wow. think Denial can actually do anything at this point. And I think a lot of this game just comes down to draft. I really like the draft that Secret put together. It's well thought out, and it sort of just feels like Denial's draft just doesn't seem very well thought out because also the first pick, Brood, doesn't make much sense. I don't even think Legion Commander is that good in this game. Because what is. They last pick Legion Commander. Oh my god, they are jumping on Paris, the oh, blink poop going in, Paris is low, he'll fall. They're gonna work on Funzie as well, he's done so. They're gonna pop up another Earthbind, go to work on Creo. First strike in the backside of this, they bring down the puck as well, they are just diving to space. This game has gotten out of hand quickly. That's four heroes dead, Broodmother can't really get involved, she's a freaking Broodmother. And they're just gonna send No-Tail back home, he'll poop back in and... He'll rotate his heroes out. They're gonna take the tier three. Rax is said this might just do the game, man. They haven't even taken a tier one top or yeah, bottom yet. Okay. But they're just gonna take mid Rax because why not? Wow. Yeah, there's nothing that I can do anymore. <laughs> I mean, Brood is desperately trying to split push this bottom lane, but like we said, there's four different heroes from Secret that can just go and deal with Brood. So this, there's really no threat. And he's barely even hitting the tier 2, so... Oh, they're actually just gonna hit the tier 4s. They're going to work. They're gonna try to finish this game off. Silence comes under the one Meepo. There's gonna be the duel as well, and that Mystic Flare does nothing. Well, First Strike goes in, the and they just blow up three years. Yeah, they still uh, have it. Yeah, they're gonna call GG. GG. That, I mean, that is it. Secret just, in the past 5 to 10 minutes, ran over. Again, they ran over yep. Denial.
not much more to say about that. This brute pick a bit questionable, I think. Just their overall picks, I don't know what their plan was. Unless they they somehow killed, killed the safe lane two or three times, which they did that, and then...